Hey everyone. Okay, so in this video, let's talk about Marvel Land, but more specifically, the Spider-Man attraction that's coming to Disney California Adventure. Now, just the other day, WDWNT released some information as to what we can expect, you know, when Marvel Land opens in a couple of years. And a couple of things in that report that they released was an Ant-Man microbrewery, uh, some shops, obviously, <laughs> food, and uh, a Doctor Strange meet and greet slash show that they think that will be similar to the Doctor Strange show um, on the Disney cruises. Okay, so that was the gist of, of the Marvel Land information. But the most interesting part of the report that WDWNT released was the Spider Man news. Okay, so <laughs> in this article, they stated kind of what we can expect from Spider-Man. And what they said was, expect a similar attraction to Midway Mania, where you're in a vehicle, you're gonna be equipped with some sort of web shooter. We don't know if it's gonna be attached to the vehicle or if it fits on your, on your arms or, we don't know yet. But basically you'll go around you know, the environment and you'll be shooting webs at the environment, okay? Now, I'll be honest with you. When I first heard, when I first read this report, I, I was a little disappointed. Okay, I was a little disappointed. I, I immediately thought, "Oh man, we're we're getting Marvel Mania, <laughs> basically. We're getting a Midway Mania version of Spider-Man or Marvel." And I was a little disappointed. Then I started to think about it more and more, and I started to think about it, and I started to think like, "Look, just because an attraction shares the same kind of technology or even the same kind of ride system doesn't mean it's going to offer the same experience, okay? Perfect example. I'll give you a couple examples here. A perfect example would be Test Track over at Epcot in Florida and Radiator Springs Racers at Disney California Adventure. Now, both of these attractions use the same ride system, the same vehicles basically, everything is the same, but it's a completely different experience because of the, of the, show, uh, of the show, you know, the various sets, the environment, it makes for a com almost a completely different ride, okay? Same could be said about Indiana Jones Adventure at Disneyland and the dinosaur attraction over in Florida. Again, these use the same ride systems and even the same layout Yet with the show, with the with the set pieces, the music, the theme, it makes a completely different experience. Okay, so when we hear from WDWNT, you know, think Midway Mania, don't let that disappoint you. Don't let don't don't get into the trap of thinking, oh well, this is just going to be Midway Mania. It's going to be you know a disappointment. We already have Midway Mania. Not necessarily, not necessarily. And just because you use the same ride tech doesn't mean there's not a twist in it that will be unique. One possibility, and I'm not, this is again my speculation, but one possibility is, you know, Disney likes interactivity and, and, and things of that nature. We've seen it with Galaxy's Edge. You know, your, your piloting skills will alter your reputation within Galaxy's Edge. So what if in the Spider-Man attraction, it's a similar kind of idea where depending on your skill set with the web shooting, it alters your experience on the attraction. Maybe if you hit a certain level, you, you have this experience. If you hit a certain level, you have that experience. Maybe there's multiple tracks where each, each experience is a little bit different based on your skill set. And again, I don't know if that's what's gonna happen. I'm just giving you a possibility. Okay, the WDWNT report, the article, even states in there, this is a general idea, okay? They threw in the Midway Mania uh, reference to kind of just give you an idea, like the gist of it. It, it wasn't meant to be um, gospel, okay? It wasn't meant to be, this is a Midway Mania clone. They were just giving you an idea as to what kind of attraction to expect. So. You know, I understand why fans are disappointed. I was disappointed too when I first read the report, but we have to step back, take a deep breath, and understand, you know, give it a chance, okay? It could be, it could be very different from Midway Mania, even though it uses the same tech. 
But what do you guys think about this? What do you think about a Spider-Man attraction utilizing the Midway Mania technology? Do you like that idea? Do you not like that idea? Do you agree with me that we should wait and see, have an open mind, there might be more to this than we think? Or do you disagree with me? Do, do you think that, no, it's gonna be Midway Mania and, and I'm disappointed? What, what are your thoughts on this Spider-Man attraction? I would love to hear from you. Like, subscribe, I do content on Disney, Marvel, Pixar, Star Wars, the parks, all of it, all the time. And as always, have a marvelous day.